Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to convert this low resolution logo into this high resolution logo using Affinity Photo. So let's get started. Before diving into the video, note that this method is best for black and white logos. You can do it with colorful logos, but sometimes it will produce poor results. Let's open this Panda logo, which is 256 pixels on each side in Affinity Photo. Then go to Document, and click on Resize Document. I will make it 10 times bigger. Then hit Resize. Apply a live Gaussian Blur filter. Check the Preserve Alpha checkbox. Increase the blur value so that the edges of the image look smooth, but don't make the image too blurry. And close the Blur tab. Then, apply a Levels Adjustment. In the Adjustment tab, increase the black level and decrease the white level. Make sure the black level is lower than the white level, otherwise it will invert the colors. Adjust them so that the blurriness of the image is gone and the edges do not look rough. For best results, make sure to have a minimum percent difference between the black and white levels. You can see that the image now looks high resolution. This method has some drawbacks, like sometimes you can lose some details. There is some blur between these fingers. I can remove it by directly painting over the original image. Let's experiment with this colorful logo. First, I will make it black and white by decreasing the saturation. Then increase the image size to 25 and 60 pixels. Then I will apply the Gaussian blur filter and increase the blur radius. Then, using levels adjustment like before, I will try to make it high resolution. As you can see, it is becoming difficult to separate the colors using this method. Next, I will try to restore the colors. For this, I will first group all these layers, then create a duplicate. Rasterize this duplicate group. Then I will open the swatches tab and create a new swatch. I will add the logo colors to the swatch. Then, using the Flood Fill tool, I will try to restore the color in the new pixel layer. As you can see, this output is not close to our logo. It is better to trace this manually and restore the colors using Affinity Designer. And that's it for this video. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more tips and tutorials. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.